Matthew White, uh, stage three of the, the Tour de France here in Denmark. How are you looking forward to it? Good, good. Uh, yesterday was uh, the only, probably the second biggest crowds I've ever seen in the last 15 years. Yorkshire was incredible and it was nearly on par with Yorkshire. Uh, no surprise. I know the Danes love their cycling. And when you do get to ch take uh, the biggest event in our sport to another country, the, the crowds come out and uh, it was a really big spectacle yesterday and we're really looking forward to another stage today. And you have one of the big favourites for today, Dylan Grunewagen. Uh, uh, how well is he uh, before this stage today? He's in a good place. He's had a really good preparation and uh, the boys rode very well for him yesterday. Just one, just one mistake in the final where he got squeezed a little bit. But uh, today's another day and we'll be looking for that, uh, looking at that elusive stage win today. And what do you think about the stage today? I mean, yesterday it was small roads, there was some wind, there was this uh, great bridge. How, how different is today's stage, you think? Uh, well, it's, there's, at the moment there's potential for a lot more crosswind because uh, the, the, the direction of the race today is more one direction. Yesterday we are doing obviously a big, a big loop. Um, and there's, there's also very narrow roads at, at times today as well. And uh, we expect a very, very fast final, uh, tailwind final, until you get to the last couple of kilometres. So it's going to be a fast, exciting race. And uh, it'll, be, it'll be nervous, exactly as it was yesterday. And talk about the final a little bit. On paper, it seems like not that uh, technical. I mean, there is a corner with 800 metres, 700 metres to go. Uh, some few words on the final. Yeah, no, the, the, last, the last six or seven kilometres is not technical at all. But the more technical part is around 10 kilometres to go as we come into the town there. It's a very, very fast run into the town, which they've used in Tour of Denmark before. Uh, then you're on the cobbles, small area, and then uh, the, the actual final final is not technical at all. It'll be a fast one, obviously with a crucial corner at 700 metres to go. And here are some few words on Chris, uh, Chris Juliansen. He's in his home country now. Um, uh, what, what will his job be today? Controlling the breakaway. Uh, controlling the breakaway. Now he, uh, I've done a lot of races with Chris and took him to the Giro only a month ago. and. Uh, He's, he's an engine. He's an engine like I haven't seen before and he's, uh, he's really enjoying being at home and uh, performing in front of his home crowds and uh, he'll play a crucial role in controlling the breakaway today. Thank you, Matthew. Pleasure. Good tour. Yeah. Yeah. Good way, mate.